Big big facts. Look at Javante Davis. This is this is a disgrace. Javante Davis is a disgrace to boxing. Look at what he says right here. No funny. Probably meant not funny. I'm going to say not funny. Not funny. The way you looked last night, give me three weeks, and a weekend in Turks, and your A is grass. You hear me? So the only reason Tank want to fight Conor Ben is because he think he's an easy fight. Tank Davis is a disgrace to boxing, y'all. Imagine Mike Tyson saying this to Evander Holyfield after he saw Evander Holyfield get knocked down in Evander Holyfield's last fight. Get well, get KO. Not only knocked down, he got Evander got KO in his last uh, exhibition fight. And before that fight, Evander Holyfield was trying to get Mike Tyson in the ring. And it seems like they was negotiating. It, it, something happened, and it, it seemed like Tyson didn't want to fight him. Now, imagine Evander getting knocked out because Evander is too old to be boxing. And Evander got knocked out in his last fight. And imagine Tyson tweeting this. Tweeting this. Not funny. The way you look last night, give me three weeks and a weekend in Turks, and your A is grass. You hear me? Y'all would call Tyson the coward. Well, this is exactly what, who, who Tank is right now. Tank is a coward because he won't fight. He only wants to fight you if he deems you weak. If he feels like he can beat you, he sees um, horrific flaws in your game. He feels like he has an edge. I mean, he's not even hiding this. He, he's not even pretending, oh, it's going to be a good fight. He's telling you. You look so horrible, I can beat you. You look so bad last night, even though you three weight classes in front of me, I can beat you. I want to fight you next. Since you look so horrible, I want to fight you next. Bruh, get Tank Davis out of boxing, bruh. We don't need you in boxing, man. Well, you, you, you just need to retire. You only telling us you want, like I told y'all, this man is a cherry. This man loves his cherries. That, did y'all go and get that cherry, a uh, Tank's cherry juice yet from Walmart, from Kroger? They got Tank cherry juice on sale right now. Go get it. If you like cherries, this man loves his cherries. He was trying to find a cherry in the UK, and guess who his cherry was going to be in the UK? None other than Ricky Hatton's son, Campbell Hatton. Yes, Tank was looking at fighting this cherry in the UK trying to copy what Floyd did when Floyd fought Ricky Hatton back in the day Tank's gonna try to pull one and fight Ricky Hatton's son but he didn't know Ricky Hatton's son don't have a following like that you know what I'm saying Ricky Hatton's son there was a lot of empty seats at Ricky Hatton's son's last fight this is Campbell Hatton. I think they call him. Yeah, Campbell Hatton. You know what I'm saying? So this who Tank wanted to fight. And this is who Tank was talking about fighting in the UK. Well, he had his eye on fighting this guy in the UK. You can't tell me. This is a cherry. Easy fight for Tank. That's all he wanted to fight. Easy fights. And Tank is the new AB. Tank is the new Adrian Broner. That's all he is. He 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 uh burnt his bridges with the Turks. He's pretty much thumbing his nose at the Turk at uh at the Turkish guy that offered at the Saudi guy that offered uh Tank the most money he'll ever make in his life fighting Devin Haney. He insulted him. He's he's none other than the new AB. Tank is nothing but a self-destructive. Uh, idiot at this point he's going to ruin his uh, boxing legacy um, yeah man so this, this guy he's a self -destruct, a self destructive idiot and he's not on house arrest anymore he got done with house arrest he got uh 
Sent us to house arrest back in May. House arrest back in May. He done with house arrest. I don't know if he can leave Baltimore or not. He got three years probation in Baltimore. Oh, well, he got three years of probation he got to do. So I don't know what that means he can't leave Baltimore in three years. I don't know. But I do know he's off house arrest. So, you know, hopefully he, he can leave Baltimore. You know, hopefully he can go wherever he want to go. I think he can since he said fighting in the UK. So, yeah, that's pretty much validated. He can leave. He can leave uh, Baltimore. But anyway, the dude's a coward. The dude, even Mayweather never did this. But this dude thinks uh, he just told us, you know, he just want easy fights. He just want to fight everybody he feel he can beat up. That's all he ever going to fight. He's never going to fight a 50-50 match it's going to be somebody he feel he can beat you know that he has an advantage on and that's who he wants to fight that's why he ain't fighting Devin Haney that's why he ain't calling out Devin Haney and you know the way you look last night I can beat you <laughs> don't nobody want to see that bro don't nobody want to see that but you know even if people want to see it it's not the fight they truly want to see and for him to go up three weight classes he just made his team that's why his team just need to shut up because he makes his team look like an idiot every time they talk and try to speak up for him he just made Leonard Ellaby look like an idiot Leonard talking about he's 130 he's really a 130 pounder he can make 130 and Devin Haney's out of his weight class. And the man just said he'll go up three weight classes up to 147 to fight uh, this other guy. What this guy name? Uh, to fight Conor Ben. He'll go up to 147. Which I, what, man, I don't know. I don't know if Tank just talks serious. Is he serious? Or is he just talking? But, uh, his team, he just he just proven his team just need to shut the F up. They don't know what they're talking about. They're not consulting with Tank, obviously. And they just need to shut up because they make themselves look stupid. Tank making them look stupid every time they run their mouth. Tank come back with something that counteracts everything they say, everything they say, trying to protect him. Cause that's all they're trying to do, trying to protect him. And he don't want their protection. He's telling y'all, I don't want y'all protection. Y'all ain't gotta protect me. I'll fight the dudes at their weight class. But he just talking though. He just talking. I believe it when I see it, man. Peace.